Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a tour of my Sun Dolphin Pro 120. This boat is about 12 and a half feet long. Starting at the back, we have a cleat, then another cleat, which actually fell off, and then the spot to put in your anchor light for when you're at night. Next to it, we have a switch panel right here for that kind of stuff, and two compartments back here. But we're going to get to this first. So this boat is powered by a 9.8 horsepower to high suit at board. This does not come with the boat. You will need to buy it or any other um, motor. Here's the NMMA placard for the people who want to see it. Um, and this boat supports 600 pounds and a 15 horsepower motor. Um, so this motor runs really good. It's a force pull motor. So let me show it to you. And if you want to see how this motor performs on this boat, I have a video on it. Um, also on my channel, it's called Sun Dolphin Pro 120 with a hot 9.8 horsepower hole shot, I think. And so this motor revs up pretty good. Alright, and so there's two storage compartments. So over here, this is a live well. If I open it up, you can see I keep two life jackets in here. And then there's the live well pump. But when I'm not using it as a live well, I use it as storage for life jackets because I like to take my friends on this boat and we need more life jackets than a lot of people do. We definitely exceed the three person capacity, but not the 600. Um, so then over here, we have another compartment. So if I fold up the tiller, you can see this one. And this is actually a pre-wired battery compartment. And so I keep my anchor and my life jacket in here, but there's battery terminals for the anchor lights and the navigation lights up there. And then also the pre-wired trolling motor plug. And there's also this pipe right here with a wire loom, which I'll get into later. Right here is the gas tank, and I have the fuel line running under here. And then there's also a seat pace. Coming up to the front, you have a wide area right here for stepping and storage. And I keep one seat, an oar, and the pole for the um, the cover. Then there's the seat post and the gas tank, which is a three gallon. Over here, we have the seat base, another one. And so then there's these three compartments up here. Um, so there's this one, which I keep basically nothing in it. And then there's this one right here, which is actually kind of drained into the bilge and is a cooler. And if I open it up, I keep my boat cover in there. And then there's also this one over here, which it's the same as this one, but I'll open it anyway. I keep my jumper cables in here, so it's really nasty and trash. Now, up to the front, you have two cleats. And you have a cup holder, a hook holder, and um, another cup holder. You have your navigation lights, a trolling motor plug, and a trolling motor mount. Um, but I'm going to mount a Humminbird Helix 5 or 7 right here with down imaging. Um, and then there's some rod holders on the sides right here. Um... And then you have ore locks right here. And so that is my tour of my Sun Dolphin Pro 120.